What's happening, everyone? It's Abdallah here with a brand new live stream of Fire Emblem Heroes. There is a very cool update that's happening right now in order to combat the orb drought that we're all experiencing right now. So we're going to do it live uh, in front of a YouTube audience. Thank you guys for coming. So today, today, we've got some, some challenges. And I'll show you guys exactly what the challenges are all about uh, simply by clicking right over here. And I haven't played Fire Emblem Heroes on a live stream or on YouTube in quite some time. We've been busy with Fire Emblem Echoes. Shoutouts to all of you guys who have been watching the videos and of course have been supporting the series by, of course, playing the game along with. So that's really cool. Alright, so right over here we've got the uh, illustrator Kozaki Yusuke. Um, he is he's pretty well known in the anime manga department as far as all of his illustrations. He's worked on plenty of different video games and everything like that. So uh, what Intelligent Systems has done is they've taken his team and they have like kind of tweaked his team that he uses in the game and made it into a special event. So you guys can see that the enemies are made by uh, using Kozaki Yusuke's uh, own play data. The play data was taken before skill inheritance was implemented. And when the play data uh, included heroes below level 40, the strength was, was adjusted. So they kind of ranked him up a little bit. Uh, they also said the heroes are back to their base levels for hard difficulty and normal difficulty. Uh, enemies also received a boost in their, all their stats. So this is going to be interesting. I love this artwork, by the way. This uh, this picture of Lucina looks amazing. Uh, so I'm very pumped up for it. Uh, before we get started, I do want to show you guys that we've been working a little bit with that Celica that we pulled uh, not too long ago. Uh, I did sacrifice my four-star Faye. Uh, <laughs> Faye, the little girl dragon, the little green dragon, not Faye from Fire Emblem uh, Echoes. But I did get uh, Renewal 3 on her, we got Ragnarok, we also did uh, bust out a Moonbow, and I'm really waiting for more SP to change out this Distant Defense to maybe like Life and Death. Uh, and then of course we're also doing uh, this right over here for like Ardent Sacrifice, because she's going to be recovering health, so she might as well help out the others. Anyway, uh, we have finished up our Armor Emblem team. It looks great. Uh, Armor Emblem is looking pretty sweet. We did spend the 20k feathers uh, on Zeph right over here. We made him 5 star. And of course, we also gave him Distant Counter. So, he's looking pretty good. Uh, we also have Effie, which I dropped the 20k feathers on. She's 100% good to go. She's got the Brave Lance Plus, which I got from uh, sacrificing a 5 star Able on her. But yeah, we're, we're looking pretty good. And of course, Hector. Oh, wrong Hector. Yikes. <laughs> that would have been bad. Going into battle with the wrong Hector. Yes, having a problem of a wrong Hector is a good thing, right? Remember the Hero Fest banner? Anyway, so I'm going to try out Armor Emblem. Uh, I do have some other teams that I can bust out, such as my Arena team that I'm using for the week, uh, which includes a Naui, which is an attack. Uh, there's attack-natured Naui. We've got Ephraim, who's like the backbone of all my teams. Uh, we also have Hector, and of course we've got the Celica to get the uh, the bonus. But anyway, let's go take a look. Enough talk, enough chit chat. If you guys are excited for these battles, I've never seen them before, so we're gonna go into this completely blind. You guys can absolutely use this as a reference so that you guys don't waste your stamina. So let's go. If you guys are excited for it, smash that like button. And of course, we're watching this live in front of a YouTube audience. I love that. Thanks for coming out. Uh, it's not uh, the most ideal time to to hang out, but shout outs to all of you guys who are here. So, yeah, let's do it. All right, so uh, let's start with the, the very first one. You guys can see right over here that we have 14 days in order to do it. So after 14 days, this video is not really going to be that relevant. So let's do this. Uh, yeah, you can see right over here, uh, Kozaki, Yusuke. You can probably counterpick the teams because you can already see exactly what's over here. Oh, thank you, uh, Tetsuya Shina. Here you go, as I said I would. Sorry, this came in a bit late, but uh, feel free to use it for another summoning if you don't plan to pull from the rights banner anymore. I love your content. Thank you for the super chat, that's amazing. <laughs> I don't think I have donations like activated on uh, on this stream, but that, that means the world to me. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, <laughs> wow, that's cool. All right, so yeah, that'll definitely help. I'm not gonna pull on this banner, but maybe in a future banner, absolutely, so yeah. Let's do this. All right, so the best, you'd probably need someone blue for this one. And I've got Naui over here. So actually, you know, I do want to do the Naui, but I also do want to show off the new uh, Armor Emblem team. So let's give it a shot. Let's get some orbs. All right, that was awesome. Thanks for the super chat. 
That's that's really cool. <laughs> that's really cool. All right, so let's take a look at these guys. All right, so we got an Effie with Death Blow. Wow, that looks familiar. Effie with Death Blow. Uh, we also got a Takumi. All right, so that's that's pretty decent. Takumi, and we also have an Olivia, and we also have Elise over here. So Elise. Ah, uh, okay. So here we go. What am I gonna do? Like, I wanna, I wanna bait out Takumi. I don't know if I could beat Takumi, but I sure as heck can beat you. So I honestly don't know. <laughs> I don't know what Celica's doing here. She's really not gonna do much. But my strategy right now is that now that we know Takumi goes into this spot right over here, uh, I can totally bring out Hector right over here to this spot to pretty much bait him and allow him uh, to get hit by that counter, and I've got the built-in quick repost, so I should be able to retaliate back. Uh, I also have you over here with uh, Zeph. He's got distant counter, so he's gonna take this hit with his 24 resistance, and then retaliate back with distant counter, so that should be good. And then uh, the rest of the team, we have just have the ward armor bonuses. Uh, I have ward armor on you, ward armor on you, and of course we've got uh, Oh, dude, I forgot I forgot to equip that. Dang it. All right, don't worry. I'll, I'll equip that back on Hector. He's got fortified defense right now, which doesn't really help out. So anyway, I'm ready. Let's give it a shot. Let's see how we do. Uh, I, I don't know if this is going to work out. I could use a rally resistance, but this should be okay. Um, yeah, yeah, this is, this is, I hope it's going to be, oh, combat animations. Yeah, those are a thing. Let's see what happens. I usually play with them off. So that's easy, right? And that's doubly easy. Okay, that's exactly what I thought would happen. All right, all right, all right, all right. Combat animations, we'll put them on. Here we go, combat animations, because it's for YouTube, right? You guys like looking at that stuff. So now, I don't know if I'm in quick or post, but she also has a silver lance. That's really not gonna hurt. So I can easily do this. And then, <laughs> I don't know what else we're gonna do. I guess I'm gonna stand right over here so that we have the ward bonuses. Uh, so I think we're good. So let's end the turn and allow her to attack. Okay, not bad. So we do have vantage, we do have bonfire. Oh no, I'm sorry, we got moonbow on him. And moonbow is gonna be more than enough, but Oh, yeah, yeah, here we go. Watch. We're gonna go Moonbow, and then just obliterate Effie. And then now the bad part is that Olivia can come over here and then start attacking us. But we've got Zeph with the swap, and we're gonna do the easy bait and switch. So that's gonna be super fun. Alright, there you have it. 24 on her, and then we can just proceed to KO. Wow. Yeah, that's that's really strong. All right, I gotta go. I gotta go swap out one of the abilities on Hector because I use this Hector on a non-armor emblem team a lot. So, yeah, that's great. Oh, great! Did I forget that there were even uh, these things here? All right, well that's cool. I didn't realize this. Trial one on hard task. All four allies must. Oh, I didn't even realize that you can actually get um, crystals and shards. There's rewards over here, so we're gonna take this free orb. And yeah, that's awesome. So this is uh, clear trial two on normal with a red type ally. Okay, clear three with a blue type ally. And of course clear, so as long as we have a balanced team, we'll be fine. And then colorless with uh, trial number five. Of course, now doing it over here, all four allies must survive. So I do want to try it again, but I don't know. I don't think that, wow, wow, that, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't think that Celica is going to do much. Like, Celica is great and all, but she's not going to do much on this team. I might as well bring a healer, right? That would make sense to bring a healer. Let's take a look. Alright, so the only healer that I really like using is Maria. Uh, she's got that Fortify Resistance, which also does help. So let's, let's give this a shot, and let's see if we can do this one on hard. Trial number one on hard. Here we go. Oh, armor emblem. Ah, I forgot. <laughs> Equip skills. All right, we're gonna put you back onto that because he's got he's got fortify armor, and you might as well, right? 
because that definitely helps out. So let's do this. We're going to jump right back into special maps and go back to trial one, beat it on hard mode with Maria on the team. No, unfortunately, we didn't get Jenny, which kind of stinks, but uh, with the Wrathful Staff, I mean, I really wanted her. She would have been my main healer in the game, but I don't have Elise either, and I would love to have a Horse Emblem team. Like, Horse Emblem is the best emblem team out there. Any of you guys uh, at home have a Horse Emblem team? Give me uh, emojis, <laughs> hands up emojis if you do. All right, so taking a look at this. Now, this is insane because now all of the attack stats and everything else, 62 attack Effie. Are you kidding me? 62 attack Effie with a death blow. So if she initiates, that's going to be 68 damage, which is <laughs> unheard of. And of course, we've got uh, Olivia over here that can help. You are going to be doing some crazy damage on us. Um... I think we're going to be okay. We're going to be fine with doing the exact same strategy. So let me know if you guys uh, think there's a different strategy. All right, let's go. I'm ready for it. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of swapping. You over here. And... Yeah, yeah, I think this is fine. I would like to put Rally Resistance on you. 42 Resistance is insane. Or sorry, 42 Attack is crazy. Minus my, what, 20, 24 resistance? That's going to do 20 damage on me, so... <laughs> Good luck. Good flipping luck, man. 47 attack. What's your speed stat? 37? That's impossible. All right, whatever. Let's go. All right, so we're here. We're going to do a little bit of uh, this. We're going to do a little bit of this. Effie, I don't honestly know what Effie is going to do. I'm just going to stand right here to help out, maybe, but but we'll see. All right, so we're good here. Let's uh, let's end the turn and hope Takumi just does not blow me away with a two hit. Ooh, okay, here we go. No! Who? Oh, look at you! I didn't realize that. Okay, I, I was not expecting that. Twelve twenty-four. Okay, so we we got Takumi. Oh my! This is interesting now. What in the world is going to happen here? All right, so let's do a little bit of attacking with uh, with Effie. Effie's going to get a little bit of screen time here. She's got the Brave Lance Plus, which makes her really, really good. Um, I do want to... I mean, I think we're fine right here. I'm just going to go back, and we're going to heal you a little bit. And we're going to allow this hit right here. Because the ward armor will help out. So I'm going to allow her to come at me. <laughs> Five damage for 20. I'll take that any day. You won't get in my way. Or one hit KO with bonfire. That's even better. Alright. So now we are going to do that good old... No, we're not going to do that bait and swap. We are going to just heal you a little bit here. We're going to move up with everyone so that we get that ward armor bonus and we're set here. So this is easy. Armor Emblem defeated this level. Was I not in Quick Repost? What was that? What's the deal? Alright, it doesn't matter. Here we go. Just get to full HP and then just destroy Effie. Alright, so pretty easy, right? Pretty easy. I don't know if you guys have enough units to take these guys on. Let me know. Uh, and then, of course, if you have already completed all of them, give me, like, send, tweet at me a screenshot of you completing every single one of these. I love seeing that. <laughs> oh, man, that's good. So, we got another orb from that. That's awesome. So, special mission, the first trial is absolutely done with Armor Emblem. You know, I'm kind of feeling Armor Emblem. Let's, let's see how far we can go with this. Oh, this is wonderful. This is fodder for Effie. Okay, so this is trial number two, Kozaki uh, Yusuke. Let's do this. Fodder for Effie, not so much. Uh, so this is totally counter pick, right? <laughs> Effie's gonna have a field day, so let, let's do it. Let's do it. I really want a lease, though. I really want a lease. A lease, or even uh, even what's her name? Priscilla would be pretty cool. All right, so this is interesting because. 
Yeah, we're kind of split up on this map, and we got Rees over here. Look at old man Rees. Oh, no. All right, so we got a Falchion. We got two Falchion. No, I'm sorry. Uh, I thought this was um, Lucina, but that's actually Lynn. So Lynn's going to do some massive work. Uh, also, we got the Binding Blade over here. Uh, Mr. Triangle Adept. Don't even look at me with blues. Yeah, so this is going to be pretty easy, but, I mean, we're armor units, so we really have to just focus on Effie just tanking these hits, and then us playing Leapfrog uh, with the rest of the crew to just get them a little bit closer, because that's what we, we need to funnel them. So I'm going to move over here, we're going to do a little bit of Leapfrog, uh, we're going to jump right down this way, and we're going to come right here, so I'm hoping that they just start moving downwards. There we go. Okay, so everyone besides Roy, <laughs> and that's, that's fine. Alright, so this is good. We're going to stand right here and allow this dude to come at us. Alright. All right. And yeah, we're fine. This will be okay. Alright, armor emblem. Wow, Reese, dude. Yes, you old man. Reese busting out. What is that? What did he do? Four damage? Good luck. Okay, so that guy's still following me. No worries. Uh, okay, so I can't do that. I can do this, but we're gonna waste our moon bow. Doesn't really matter. Effie's just gonna tank all these hits. Alright, not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, <laughs> give me that one damage. Alright, we're gonna do another little hopscotch. And then I... Oh, I should've moved and then hopscotch. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, not a big deal. No. Okay. Effie does not have distant counter. I did not want to sacrifice my third Hector for Effie. I figured I would skill or I, I would merge my other Hector in order to get them going. So here we go. We're gonna destroy Reese, old man Reese. You know, Reese is actually pretty good. Let me tell you why. Because he's got the ability rehabilitate, and rehabilitate is a very very good skill to have. Especially for your healers, right? It's one of the best recovery skills in the game. Alright. So we're going to play a little Leapfrog. We got our team right into action over here. Uh, we're still going to take no damage from this. But Bonfire is going to do some real good work. 46. Yeah, Bonfire. Alright, so now is the hard part. Because we need to, we need to get everyone going. And we got to look out for Roy over here. Alright, so we're going to jump right over here. Whoop. And this should be good enough for uh, for us to retaliate and KO Roy. Right? 34. Easy. This is easy, right? Very easy. Anyway, uh, thanks for coming out, guys. Thanks for coming out. Any guys uh, playing Fire Emblem Heroes along with me? Please tell me you are. Hand up, hands up emojis, let me know. But yeah, that's uh, this is a really cool game. And it's free to play, right? It's free to play. And some might say it's pay to win, because you can get all that skill inheritance and summonings and gotcha mechanics like we all know. Yeah, it's uh, it's quite interesting. Alright. So, that was pretty easy. I think we're going to do another, uh, another round of that with the same characters. That should be really, really easy to do. So let's go. Boom. Hard mode. Yes. Not bad. <laughs> yes, playing Echoes, I guess, counts. If you guys have all gotten Echoes, tell me. Tell me you guys are enjoying this game, too. Echoes is awesome. I'm still wearing my, uh, my Alm pin and then my Celica pin. I don't know if you guys noticed that. My little 8-bit pins from the Collector's Edition. Yeah, of course. Totally fanboying off of that stuff. It's great. I love it. I love those pins. They're so good. All right, oh no, hold on, hold on. We need to move a little bit differently. Okay, so we're gonna do the move forward and leapfrog over. We're gonna move up and then uh, I guess we're just gonna go right here. We're gonna try this again. Uh, I didn't actually look at their stats, so let's go take a look at that. That might help you guys with your calculations at home. Okay, so we got Roy over here with a massive 50 attack. He does have triangle add up, so any blue unit is gonna cut him down. Uh, we've got 45 speed Lin with 44 attack. You know, I pulled Lin really early on in the game, and I haven't used her since. I don't know. Her speed's great, but she's really not that bulky. 
Reeves right over here with that 33, that bulky 33 attack. Wow. And his resistance stat. Oh my goodness. No one's going to touch him with magic. And of course, Marth with 53. And 40, 43 speed. What? That's crazy. Marth, are you kidding me? I, I know he's a flagship character of, of uh, Fire Emblem, but still. Come on now. Oh, ho. All right. We're done. Let's do this. Effie's gonna get rocked by this. Oh, no, she's not. Effie's, Effie's fairly bulky. Effie's one of the best blue units in the game. If you guys have not gotten yourself an Effie, get on it. Pull for blues and just hope that you can get Effie. Alright, we're gonna go right here for the 30 times 2 Gonna waste the bonfire, unfortunately, but that's okay. All we need to do is initiate on uh, Reese, and we're all set. All right, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna hopscotch over, whoop, and we're good. Reese, rice. <laughs> rice, rice, rice. Uh huh. Control. Here we go. All right. All right, let's do this. So, all we really have to do now is just let's move go. forward, destroy Reese, and just finish him off. Boom, boom. One, two. Brave Weapon Plus. Oh. All right, yeah, so any blue unit, any bulky blue unit would totally destroy these guys. I mean, if you had Ephraim and a healer, you'd be able to knock them out. All right, so I'm going to come over here. We're going to come over here. We're going to do this little swapping, and we should be good. And Effie's just going to be set up for Roy. It's We're just going to repeat the same strategy. Hmm. And we'll probably end off with close to near full health. Yeah, if not full health. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. I mean, Effie does really good work, so if you guys don't have her, then that's going to be bad. All right, let's do this. Let's do it. Excellent. Easy. Okay, so we got an orb. Uh, we did this with that, and we're set. So now let's go take a look. We're going to go claim our rewards. We did uh, clear trial 2, clear 1 on hard, and of course we're doing trial 2 on hard. So we're getting all these shards and crystals, which, I mean, I personally don't use them. I mean, I'll use them in a pinch when I'm too lazy to level up someone for skill inheritance fodder. But that's pretty much it. So, yeah, we might go on with Armor Emblem. Let's let's keep on going with it. I was really hoping to show Celica off, but we'll see. Alright, so clear Trial 3 with a blue ally, which is Effie, of course. And then Trial 3 on hard with a blue ally, but everyone must survive. Okay, so the same concept. So just with the blue ally, and you should be good. So let's do it. So Trial number 3... Uh, this is, this looks like a balanced team. Oh man, that's not gonna be good. Because there's also a blue mage. And blue mage is not gonna be fun. So I could bring Nino to combat that blue mage, but Nino without a boosting team is really not as good. So we're just gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this out and see how we do. Come on. Join me. Alright, Abel and a healer totally works out, Vince. Yeah, I would totally say, Abel, if you have that brave weapon, boom, you're done. But I gave my Abel, Abel was one of my first five-star pulls. I totally fed him to Effie. And that was the end of that. Alright, so this is going to be interesting. I don't know how I'm going to do this one. If you have an archer, you'd probably be well off. If you had a uh, Takumi or any kind of archer and then a dancer or a singer... You'd probably be way better off than I am right now. This is just not looking good. Because all these ladies can just fly on through and destroy us. Okay, and you've got the Armor Slayer. Oh my goodness, that's gonna hurt so much. Sheeta, Brave Lance Plus, if this hits Zeph, that's gonna hurt so much. And Brave Axe Plus, this is also gonna hurt a lot. We also have... Um, Robin here with bonfire. I mean, it's not a triangle adept Robin, so we're gonna be okay with uh, With doing that, but I don't know what Maria is gonna do. 
Maria's here to just heal, so... I don't know. I honestly don't know. And there's no real way that we can kind of group together in a team, you know? Because we need like a square formation in order to be successful. I don't have that here. So... I think the only thing I could do... <laughs> I honestly don't know. I need to pick a- I need to do a counter pick for this team. Like, I need- I, you know, I didn't actually raise that Takumi that I pulled, believe it or not, I didn't. So... I don't know. I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm at a loss here. I'm just gonna move up, move over, and we're just gonna slowly drudge our way over there. And they do, uh, they do move, so you can't just like camp the entire time. Alright, well, I guess what I could do is, I can move you here. I can move you here, I can move yes. you here, and I can suplex you over. So that now you're in the range of Camilla, and you're not going to be able to secure the KO on Camilla. Oh, that's sad. That's very sad. Oh, goodness. Okay, well, what's happening here? Oh, no, Robin! Alright, that's okay. You know what? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna finish you off, and then we're gonna suplex you back. <laughs> and then I need to somehow not get rocked by Robin. Oh, -ho. okay. I hope this works. I don't. I honestly don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna try it. Oh my gosh, Robin! Stop it! All right, Robin. We need to get out of here. Like, go. Um. Robin's gonna do some massive damage here, and so is Sheeta. I think our best bet right now is to just stand still. I'm protecting Zeph in the middle here, so <laughs> you've got one option. He can he's just gonna aim for Effie, but Effie's got wary fighter. <laughs> this is not a good team for this. Oh my goodness. Ouch! Ouch! 21 times 2, I'm done! Why did I leave her there? Oh my gosh, Maria. Maria! Yeah, Maria is totally not working right here for us, but that's okay. See, all four allies must survive. That means that I gotta do this over again. How in the world am I gonna do this one over again? Just without Maria, right? Give me someone else that's bulky that can counter um, some greens here. Yes. Yeah, Maria was... Mm, that's lame. That's really lame. Nine damage on me is nothing, if I could just retaliate with that. Okay, so I just gotta swap out Maria. You know, I could have done it without Maria. Maria didn't even do anything, but it's... You know, it's all four allies must survive. So let's let's give this another shot. Who's gonna be that next best person? Someone that can attack from a distance. I might just bring Nino. I mean, she's not gonna get any boost, but she's very strong. Uh, let's see. Oh, that was normal, or what is it? Hold on. What is the what are the requirements for this one? It's just a clear trial three with a blue type ally, and then okay, do this hard. Man, come on, dude. Maria was just not helping out that time around. So let's do this. Um, actually, Naoi is really good. I like Naoi, but we need some we need some mage, and Nino could be good with this. Let's give it a shot. That was really sad. That was really sad. I, I want it. So... <laughs> Let's see if we can retrace our steps here. I, I don't know if we can, but I'll, I'll give it a shot. Maria! Okay, so what were we doing before? We were just doing this? And we're kind of hiding with uh, with Nino Ninosin? 
Or should I even go, like, and do some work with Nino? What are we doing here? Yeah, Nino... <laughs> All right. Yes. All right. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna quickly skip this. I don't need to see this a hundred times. No. <laughs> All right, so let's here we go. Let's do a little suplex. Let's do a little jumpy jumpy over. And Nino has to do something. What though? Okay, I got an idea. I don't know if I could take a hit from Robin Robinson, though. Oh, you know what? I got this. Here we go. We're gonna do this. We're gonna swap. We're gonna bring Nino Ninosin over here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so Nino is going to destroy Hinoka without any boosts. And then we're gonna suplex her back. And then we're just going to take a hit. <laughs> I hope that worked. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't know how much Armor Slayer is going to do against us. So, let's see. 13 damage. We can survive that. And now... And now we fight, right? We're going to do this. But then we're going to bring Hector. Oh, 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 mm, here, here's what we can do. We can do this. We can do this. And then we'll be set. So kind of kind of tweaking our previous strategies. Uh, we're going to bring Nino to destroy Robin. And I wish he had triangle add up. That would have been even better. But uh, yeah, we're going to finish him off. And then Sheeta is going to go for Fe, which is totally against the weapons triangle, which is perfect. And I'm going to move you here so that we have the ward armor bonus. And then we can KO her, KO her on the next turn. I think that's fine. So, yeah, Maria, not so much. 34, that's actually a one-hit KO. All right, so let's see if we can replicate this on the hard mode. I don't know. Maybe we can. Mm. All right, here we go. So let's go to this one here on hard with the same team and see if it works out. It's really not the best team comp. Maybe if I had like a fourth armored unit and I raised up my additional Hector to give like ward armor bonus, I think that would be a little bit better. But anyway, let's take a look. So we got Camilla here and she's got that huge 42 attack with the brave weapon, which is insane. We've got Hinoka with the brave lance. We've also got uh, Sheeta with the armor slayer and that Darting Blow, 41 attack. And Robin here. So Nino without boost uh, will still be able to outspeed. It's just, I, I, I don't know if that's... I don't know if it's going to work. Let's still give it a shot, though. Let's still give it a shot. Come on, Nino. Show me what's up. Okay, so now we're going in a different formation. Are we? I don't remember. Alright, so what did I do last time? I moved Nino... And then we suplexed this uh, Zeph completely over. Zero times two, still, wow. Ward armor bonuses are really good. That I didn't appreciate though. All right, so we're just gonna keep on doing what we were doing. Okay, suplex, hopscotch, moving here. Okay, so same strategy, let's see what we do. This is uh, Nino without any boosts. Let's see how she stacks up. 34, 17, oh no! But that'll bring me in, oh what, do you have rally speed? Is that what you just did? You do have rally speed, come on, I needed that. That's lame. Okay. Alright, whatever. We're going to bust out uh, Hinoka, which is fine. We can take one hit from Robin and then retaliate back uh, with Desperation if we wanted to, but I don't really want to take that one hit because if I take this one hit, then Sheeta's going to come over here and attack me as well. Mm -hmm. So we need to suplex you over there, and we're going to stand tall. 
We're going to stand tall right here. I don't remember what we did, but I think this is kind of in line with what we did last time. So Robin going to do that huge 17. Uh, I do have Wary Fighter, so I'm not going to get doubled. And what we're going to do is this. 41. What? Are you crazy? What the heck? Let's go. Let's go. I don't have Weary Fighter. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to take this hit or not. Oh, I don't know. I can't do both. You know what? I can. Uh, I don't know if I want to, though. You got Bonfire cooking right now. So my question is, can Hector survive this hit? I'm going to say yes, he can. I'm going to say yes, he can. <laughs> I'm going to say yes, he can. He's got to be able to survive an Armor Slayer blow from Sheeta. That's it. That's just what it has to be. And if he doesn't, then we all lose. That's hard, man. There's a lot of strategy with this. And I'm going to move over one more space just to make sure that we get the ward armor bonuses. 35 times 2? Are you crazy? No! Wait! Moonbow! Come on! 38. Go, go, go. Oh, that's stupid. That's so stupid. All right. I don't know how I'm going to do this then. Dang it! That's so bogus. How do I do that then? Where's my Mila's turn wheel? Come on! That's dumb. Armor Slayer does so much work. <laughs> That's so stupid. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. I don't have archers, man. I don't have archers to shoot these dumb ladies down. Ugh. I might have to come back to that one. I might have to come back to that one, because that's ridiculous. Come on, 35 times 2, are you insane? Come on, maybe if Hector had uh, Bonfire, that would have maybe worked. I don't know, man. Alright, so I might have to try that one later. <laughs> Let's move on, shall we? Uh, this Armor Emblem team, it's not fully four arm armor units, so I don't, I can't do anything. Alright, here we go. Is this another FE battle? It could be. With uh, with Nino on board? What is Nino gonna do? Nino's gonna get owned. You know, I need to customize these teams based off of who's good, right? So Nino, we're gonna swap you out for Naoi. And we're gonna go full armor emblem, all right? We're gonna do this. I might try that one a little bit later. I just need a break from it. I just need a break. Oh man, that was, uh 35, really? It was on the right side of the weapons triangle. I get it, but I'm Hector, dude. Ugh, 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 ugh. All right, so what are we doing here? I'm going to bait out this guy with you. Let's go. So look at this team. All right, so we've got Leo. We've also got, uh, <laughs> you've also got Lucina. You've got uh, Erica. And you've got Naoi. All right. Anytime during, you can use this turn wheel to to rewind turns instead of soft resetting and reloading your save state. You can do like you can rewind and just do things. So, gosh, it's uh, it's interesting. That's for sure. All right. So we need to do this. All right. So let's look. Right. We're gonna do this. And we're going to do this. And then I'm also going to run away from this Falchion user. Uh, one of the things that people do with Naoi is instead of running like a Fury set, a Fury Vantage set, you can also run Triangle Adept so that you can fight all the Falchion users and have a little bit better of a time. But at the sacrifice of you being obliterated by greens. So it was something that I was really, I was really tied on. Like, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that uh, Triangle Adept Naoi is better than Fury Vantage Naoi? I don't know. Depends on your team comp, right? So, we're going to go right here. And, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be okay. Naoi can hang out. What? Oh, yeah, I can only move one? That's not good. I'm going to move one up right over here. So, this will allow Naoi to attack Hector. And if Naoi attacks Hector then I can easily retaliate back, take this other 12, and then finish off with Moonbow. 
Uh, I really got to get rid of Moonbow on him. All right, so now's the part where I kind of get scared <laughs> because I got to do this little quick swap. And then I have to move this way. And then I'm going to slowly move this way. Right? I could do that. Yeah, I mean, Hector's pretty much done, so we're going to keep him in the back. And we're just going to go right here. Okay, this looks fine. So, Lucina is going to get rocked by Effie. It's, it's a fact. We should be able to do this one on both difficulties with this exact comp. Oh, look at that drag bag. How cute. How cute is that? Come Let's here. Alright, so we got this. Alright, Zaf, do some work. See, like, I'm really not... I'm not impressed with Zaf. Like, I put a lot of skill inheritance into him. I did. I mean, we got the armor, we got the distant counter with Sacrifice a Hector for him. I'm just not super impressed with him. He's not like a Hector. But he's okay. Alright, same team comp. Let's do it. What do you guys think of Zeph? Is uh, is he a good armored unit? Let me know in the comments. Yeah, Effie is just really, really good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope that we can bait out this guy the exact same way as we did before. So same concept. We're gonna try it out. Uh, yeah, the exact same team with the, with the shuffling around of the armor units. It's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool because you can get some pretty good work done with it. So Leo, I didn't really look at his stats, so forgive me on that one. Uh, but I'll just let you know that his Brunhilder is pretty strong if you can't take the hit. So let's look at these other ladies, right? Leo's easy, right? Okay. So we now have Naoi with 52 attack simply because of the boosts, right? So she's got 49 attack and this massive speed stat. So she's going to do massive damage on Hector. I don't know if he's going to be able to survive it, honestly. But we're going to find out. Oh, uh, we also have Erica over here with 43 and 39, respectively. And... What? <coughs> 58? Are you crazy? I'm gonna choke! That's because of the Sieg Lindy boost. Oh my goodness! I need to get the heck out of Dodge. Alright. Yeah, that was insane. Oh, I didn't break this thing. Actually, I don't need to break this. Actually, I do need to break this thing. Dude, that was a misplay. I was supposed to break this thing. Dang it! No, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine, I can break this thing. <laughs> Speaking of breaking this thing, hey, do you know that we can break this thing? Alright, should I break this thing? What did I do last time? Now he comes over here, see Glindy doesn't. So, if I do... I don't know if I did break this thing. All right. Someone rewind and tell me if I broke this thing. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go right here, see Glindy's not gonna touch me. But I do, I, I do think that I did break this thing. <laughs> I'm gonna break this thing, I don't care. Alright, here we go. Fifteen times two, not bad. This is pre-skill inheritance, so she's not gonna bust out like a bonfire, a moonbow, or anything like that. So, we do have an advantage, but in order to offset the advantage that we have, Intelligent Systems boosted their entire uh, stats, which Let's is go. really insane. Alright. So, we did this, and then swapped. We told Hector to take a back seat. Yeah. And then we swapped over here. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna work, but... Yeah, yeah, we got this. This one's not too bad with Armor Emblem. So, 5 damage, 21. And then, um, what can I do after 21? Really nothing. Um, I could just knock out Lucina with the double. And then we're fine. So here we go, 25. It uh, doesn't matter. She's not holding on to any specials or anything like that, so we're good. Five damage is great, good job. And then here comes this huge bonfire. Okay, so this wasn't that that hard with with uh, with an armor emblem team, and this is just an armor emblem core. Uh, I would say that if I wanted to, I'd probably raise another Hector, or I do have a Sheena. So I'm really wondering, like, okay, is is Sheena like a good fourth armored unit? 
Or should we just wait until uh, Intelligent Systems hooks us up with another armored unit? Who would you guys like to see? What armored unit would you guys like to see? Valbar? Valbar to commemorate Fire Emblem uh, Echoes? That would be pretty cool. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, we've made it to the, the final one. Uh, we are going to go... Same team comp. Maybe not, depending. We'll we'll look around and we'll, we'll shuffle. We'll see. Okay, so this is a bunch of greens. So red would be really good here. So I really think that... Um, I really think that we can give Celica some, some spotlight. I mean, we just did get a Celica. So this is really Zeph's stage, right? This is his time to shine. So we do have a, a bow user. No idea who it's going to be. Maybe Takumi. Um, yeah, I think it's probably Takumi. And then we've got Celica that can totally roast the opposing mage. And then we have Effie that can tank the red mage's hit. So we just have to make sure that Hector is away from the red mage and we'll be okay. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so what do you think? Valbar? Owen says Valbar. Oh, yeah, Tatsuya uh, Sheena says Black Knight. Yeah, Black Knight from the uh, the Radiant Saga was pretty good. I would like that. Okay, so we got Cymbeline here. Maybe she's born with it? Maybe it's Cymbeline. All right, um, so she's got Triangle Adept, which is going to be crazy. Oh, man. And we're on this stage, too. All right, so I may need to switch this around a little bit. Triangle Adept Sanaki is just going to obliterate Hector and not even look back. Uh, Julia, I can probably roast, but this guy... This guy... Uh, Hector is really only used for who? I don't know. Hector is used for Klein. And then the rest, we just figure it out. So, Hector over here... And then, I guess you can come over here. You know what? I think... I think Celica is going to be able to carry this uh, this entire map for us. So, let's see. Um, I want to somehow bring Hector upwards, but there's no way I can do that first turn. Oh no, there is. Never mind. Here, watch. I'm sorry, I totally forgot about this. So I can move Effie up, and I can leapfrog over. And that allows Klein to be a little bit closer to get him on the next turn. So I'm... I don't know. This is uh, this is tough. This is really tough. So, let's see. Um, yeah, yeah, this is... This is gonna be interesting, I'll tell you that much. Alright, let's see what we do. I don't know what Zeph's gonna do right now, but... Great. Okay, so we have Hector here as bait, and that's cool, right? Hector there as bait, that's gonna work out. We can totally... Oh, Brave Bow? With Death Blow? Are you crazy? There's no way we can do that. There is absolutely no way we can do that, man. Are you... Oh my gosh, we're gonna eat this hit. We're gonna straight up eat this hit. Alright, well... Who's in danger here? You have pretty decent resistance, and of course you have d distant defense. So, I'm going to retaliate back, and we're going to burn Julia. This is our chance to get Julia. I don't know if we're going to make this hit from Klein. That is Klein, right? Come on, Klein. Come on, Klein. Go easy on me. Nine times two. Okay, that's not bad. I can totally take it. With that ward bonus, I did really well. So, this is fine. One hit KO, we're done. So, we can repeat this on the next time. Twelve? Hurts a lot. If that's 12, I can't imagine what Sembeline's gonna do against me. My apologies. There we go, Celica Amiibo. Yeah! Woohoo! Go, Celica! Okay, so now we need something here. Okay, okay. Well, here's the thing. I don't have drag back. So if I blow up you. Oh man, I can blow up you, but I'm gonna get blown up myself by you on the next turn. Unless I use him to swap directly after. And then what? This is insane! How are you gonna beat up a Hector? 
20 times 2. I don't know. And then Effie, what is Effie doing? Uh, Effie! I could do the attack swap, but then I'm gonna eat this massive hit. Four, 52? I mean, I'll take the hit. But then what is she gonna do afterwards? She's gonna move, uh, she's gonna be right here, she's gonna toast me. And then she's gonna move one, two, and then attack anyone in this vicinity. You know what, I could do it. Uh, let, let's give it a shot. That's all I got right now. Come on, Celica. Bust out that Ragnarok. Ouch! Not about to stop here. <laughs> yes. All right. Whoa! Uh -huh. Who to crush? No, oh, twenty-eight. Oh my gosh, that's gonna hurt. But thirty-four. Oh, never mind. You know what? This can work out. I totally forgot that he's got the distant counter, so hey, we did it. All right, we got this. We got this. All right, and uh, we just have we just need to repeat it. I honestly don't know if Celica can do that much though. Uh, scary, scary. I don't know if Celica can take the hit from Hector now. Ah, let's go, let's go. All right, let's look at these stats. 56 Sembeline. Oh my goodness. Uh, we've got 56 attack on Hector. Are you crazy? Look at his speed, 28. Are you joking? Am I even going to outspeed him? I will. I will, if I'm lucky, outspeed the guy. Uh, 53 hit from Julia. That's going to be insane. And then, of course, we got Klein with the Brave Bow. We have to do the exact same thing. And I may need to stall out a little bit with... Uh, with everyone here. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm pretty excited, but at the same time, it's like, this is so hard. This is legitimately very hard. Let's go. All right, but it's a challenge that we've been wanting, right? We've all been wanting a little challenge with the game, so let's do it. Hmm. Klein, don't KO me, please. All right, we need to bait out Julia. No. No. Later. <laughs> now. All right, let's go. We got this ward armor bonus. Survive. Oh my gosh, 13 times 4. Are you crazy? Ow, ow, ow. I don't think I'm going to make it. Oh, I'm not going to make it. I won't miss. Excuse me. Excuse me? What the heck was that? <laughs> How in the world? That's stupid. Come on, Hector. My apologies. Hector got owned, man. Who to crush? That's ridiculous. How am I gonna beat this flawlessly? <laughs> She's throwing the sun on me. We need to run the heck away. I don't have vantage on any of my units. So how in the world? Let's go. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. Because if I bring her over here to KO Klein, which is fine, then she's going to be a sitting duck.
for you to get a KO on. So there's I can beat the level, but or maybe I can't beat the level. I don't know. Maybe I should just sacrifice Celica right now because we're already done. We already can't get the bonus. That's insane, insane. Can you take these two hits from Klein? 1734, are you crazy? You must be insane. Ouch. Dude. Oh man, so Celica's going down. Sorry, Celica. I mean, this <laughs> is what it is. Oh my gosh, I don't know how we're going to do this, uh, because that's crazy. So, with that being said, I need a new team comp in order to do this. Sorry, Celica, come on. Don't be mad at me. Don't worry, we'll, we'll get you to, like, level 20 in Fire Emblem Echoes to, like, counteract this damage that you're getting hit right now. Let's see, you got Triangle Adept, so this isn't going to do too much work. She puts the entire sun on top of someone. That's insane. I've never really looked at that animation before, but here we go. Oh, no, 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 here we go. go. Just get out of here. Hmm, no, the Brave Bow is not forgotten. I know that it was there, but I didn't think that he'd do so much work. I didn't think he'd get a quad on me. All right, well, we beat it by the skin of our teeth, but what kind of team comp can we do? What kind of team comp can we do here? Who is going to combat Klein? We need someone that can absolutely do that. I think Naoi is the only one that can attack Klein. And who else was good? Celica was good. I need like a really offensive unit. Like, okay, so there was Hector, sure. Alright, you know what? Here, we're gonna go with my A-team. My A-team is this, right here. Uh, sorry, no, you're not invited. Okay, oh, and I wasn't even using any of the, uh, the seals. Dang it! Ah, uh, that's lame, I hate it when that happens. So you play through, how many guys, okay, raise your hand if you know this feeling, where you go through on the arena, and you're like, oh no, I forgot the seals, and then you just go and it's over. So we can go with this team here, but, I mean, just looking at the team comp, I need a blue unit for who? Who do I need a blue unit for? Let me just, like, re-look at this. And just go. Okay, so I'm looking at it. We need red, we need a red unit. Like, Celica has to come on board in order to take these hits, or at least bait out Julia and KO Julia. But then we need, like, a Nino drag back, and I think Ephraim... I think Ephraim can do it. All right, here we go. Let's build this from scratch. Uh, so we're going to go Nino for the drag back. We're going to do Julia. Um... Actually, we don't need the we don't need Nino. Nino's just gonna get roasted. But this is a Nino boosting team. There's gotta be a way. Nino gets roasted by Julia. The only one that can take on Klein is probably Naoi. And Ephraim. I don't know. Ephraim's not gonna do anything. So here we go. This is the team right here. Uh, give me Olivia back. Okay, this is the team. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. I don't know if we're going to make it, but I want to see if we can do it. And then we're going to go back to number three. You guys want to see me do number three? Like the, the third trial where we were supposed to do it with like a perfect? Okay, shout outs if you guys want to see that. How about if we hit like 100 likes? I know there's not too many people watching right now, but I think it's possible. Nine more likes for an extended episode? Let's do it. Okay, so I don't have any defensive boosts. I don't have a rally defense. I don't have a rally speed. Yeah. This is Brave Bow. So we're not going to get quadded. And... I don't know why I even brought Nino. Why did I bring Nino? Because she's Nino? I mean, I've got the attack boost yes. from her. Which is fine and all, but let's do this. And I have this attack, hone attack on, uh, 
I don't know if that's gonna help me out, but. Okay. All right. Of course. Okay, let's see if this works. You know what else I can do? I can bait out Klein. Uh, if I put a unit here, like let's say I had Ephraim over here. And I would move Ephraim down two squares. And then when Klein moves right over here to this spot, I can bring Nino up okay. to completely nuke him. Uh, and then just be scot-free if this attempt fails. Okay, so that's something that I can do there. I can easily see that that's something that you can exploit. Uh, but this over here, I really have to, I have to be a little bit more careful. So, we have Celica. I'm gonna allow you to... Well, actually, you're not gonna go anywhere. You're gonna come right over here, attack Celica. I'm gonna retaliate back for the KO. Um, and then I just have to do, like, another sing and go from there. So, let, let's see how it works. Klein, you better not KO me, dude. 18 times 2, 27? That's not good at all! 1836? I do have Vantage. So, I'm good. I'm good on that front. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so bogus. This is this is really hard. All right, we got vantage on Klein. So if Klein wants to attack me, he's just gonna get rocked, and I'm not gonna take anything besides the uh, fury recoil. Um, same thing with Sembeline. Like if I, oh, you know, I think we got this. I think we got it. Here, look. If I'm able to get this KO right here. Which I am. Sing, draw her back. And then Cymbeline comes on board and we just knock her out. Let's do it. Okay, we'll do it. Not about to stop here. Surviving with two. You're crazy, lady. You're crazy. Sure. Alternatively... Uh, alternatively, if we don't want to bring you out, well, here, I'm just gonna bring you out because there's no point in doing that. Klein, you don't ha you got quick repost. That's good, it's gone. Um, I mean, we got vantage now, so we're, we're okay. And I want to keep this moon bow. So here's what I'm thinking. Like, I can destroy Klein right now with, with Nino. Nino's got one boost under her. And we can do more than 17 damage on his terrible uh, staff. So if I do this... Is it safe? Is it safe for me to bring Naoi into this range? Well, actually not into this range. I think we're going to be fine. Yeah, do your best, Nino. That's what I'm talking about. Do your best. Okay, this is good. Yeah, we did it with our with a, like a pseudo Nino team. So Nino was able to destroy that. We're gonna come over here. We've got a Moonbow at the ready on Triangle Adapt Sanaki, and that's going to be game, ladies and gentlemen. We were able to do it. Okay, so let's go back. Let's rewind a little bit. Let's go to the other Dragon one. Rampage. Dragon Rampage. All right. Good job. We didn't need Vantage. We just needed someone to tank that hit and retaliate with a lot more damage. And of course, any kind of mages that you guys have would definitely help out with that. All right, so now that's done. Oh, we're supposed to do it with a colorless unit. Mm, what? Dang it, that was a challenge. Well, we beat it on hard without losing anyone, but we're supposed to do it with someone with the colorless. Dang it. Didn't think about that. Colorless ally who? Who do I have that's colorless that can do that? Maria? What's Maria gonna do? Take two hits and die? Takumi would be really good right there. A colorless unit. Who did not do any work? If I had a colorless unit with drag back. <laughs> oh, I do! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I do have a colorless unit with drag back. Here, let's try this again. <laughs> I do! Here we go, here we go, hold on, hold on. So instead of you, since the dancing really didn't matter, right? Dancing did not matter one bit. We're gonna go colorless unit with drag back. Drag 
Drawback, sorry, drawback. And I still didn't put any seals on these guys. That's so funny. Um, let's do... I guess I don't need any seals on them. Like, you you have the attack seal. You don't need any seals. Uh, it doesn't matter. Like, I talk about forgetting seals, <laughs> and then I forget to put the seals on them. Alright, let's go. I may have to bust out a potion, a stamina potion. I didn't really want to do that, but that's okay. So here's the team. Team comp, colorless. Let's go. <laughs> I go with the hard one first, of course, right? Ugh. <sighs> Let's just do this again. Yes. Let's go. Hmm? Of course. I did have rally attack on that other one though. Same what does this Kagero have? Rally speed? Well, that's not gonna help. Okay, not a big deal. We'll figure it out. We always do. Let's go. Yo, you needed colorless. Needed colorless. Bow Breaker Kagero. I was thinking of making a Bow Breaker Kagero. But she wouldn't survive the two hits from Klein at all. She's like super weak on defensive. Maybe on player phase she might do it? Okay, I <laughs> got a little bit of that health back. Okay, this is fine. We got it. We did it. Okay, and then we can just replicate this the next time. We'll pay for the potion, whatever, and then we'll go from there. No, this will be great. I didn't need the rally attack, or sorry, the uh, the hone attack three from Olivia at all, because we're still able to obliter obliter obliterate, obliterate him. And then, of course, we're going to come over here. We're going to do a little bit of a uh, drawback. Whoop. Just get out of there. We're gonna go right here. We're gonna do a little bit of this. Nino, good job. And we're all set. Alright, we got the Moonbow at the ready. Boom, look at that. Moonbow. <laughs> Just sneezed? And lightning bolts come out? Okay, that, that's interesting. I didn't know that about Naoi. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's a struggle. <clears throat> but if you have a really good uh, red mage like Tharja, uh, yeah, this can work out. So that's cool. So we got two of them. Oh, I thought we had to do the normal version. But it, yeah, I guess it didn't specify. So here we go, trial number five. Do it with colorless and then do it with colorless. That's a little redundant, don't you think? It says clear with a colorless ally. All four must survive. And then, well, I don't know. Whatever, we got it. So here we go, trial number three with a blue type ally. Let's do this. We have one shot, and it's on hard, right? It's on hard. We have one shot to do this. Uh, trial number three. Let me see. What was trial number three? What was that one? Um, oh, this was with the flyers. I don't have any, like, anti-flyer units. I haven't run... I mean, I really never used them. So let's look. Special maps, uh, it is going to be n trial number three on hard. This was the one with Robin. We can go Nino boosting. I could bring Nino boosting team. But Kagero is not going to help out at all. I'm just looking at it. And okay, so from the looks of it, there is... And that's why this is great. That's why we're recording this, right? So that you guys can take a look at it. Analyze the, the team comp of the opposite side. And then you guys should be able to uh, take a look at your team. But I'm looking at the, the replay over here. And you've got Sheeta, that's a red. You've got um, <clears throat> Camilla, Hinoka, and Robin. So, of course, Nino base is going to be great. Nino is going to be awesome for this. Olivia can help make Nino go twice and move her back to safety, kind of like a hit and run. Ephraim is great for boosting Nino in general. And then I'm looking at some really bulky units that can possibly take out Robin and retaliate back. I'm thinking Naoi. Like, Naoi is really bulky. Naoi can take out Cheetah. Everyone besides Camilla. But Naoi doesn't boost. Uh, Naoi, hold on, Naoi does boost. Fortify resistance, and you do attack. 
Don't you have defense? Hold on. Um, hold on. Equip skills. I could have sworn I gave her, like, hone defense, didn't I? No, you got resistance and attack. Oh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, let's do resistance. And then let's do, uh, you have defense. I gave you defense, didn't I? No, I did not. Okay. So we don't need two threatened resistances. Um, actually, um, here, we're gonna do attack with you. It's not a fully boosting Nino team because we're missing someone else. Like, Ike has some... Ike has defense, right? Yeah, you're the one that I gave defense to. Hmm... Hone speed. Who has hone speed? <clears throat> no one has hone speed over here. Oh, no, you got hone speed. Never mind, you do. Okay, so I think we're good. Uh, let's do equipping some seals. Now I need to make sure that you have this attack seal, because you're going to be doing the attacks. Alright, so we're going to go seal, we're going to go, um, uh, you can do what? You're not even going to be attacking, so you might as well do spur defense. And <laughs> you already have fortify resistance, right? So you don't need anything else. I'll give you the HP. Yep, you got the HP, we got the speed. I think we're set. Let's give this a shot. Let's honestly give this a shot. I don't know if it's going to work, but... We'll totally do it. And it has to be with a blue unit, right? So, this is it. 10 stamina. It's our last stamina. I don't want to use a potion, but I will if I have to. So, this is it. <clears throat> Alright, so. What to flip and do right off the bat? I don't know. Like, I want to get Nino ready. Like, I want to get her ready. So, we need to... Nino, I need to blast you. Okay, so here, watch, watch. If Ephraim goes right here, Nino's right here. Ephraim can launch Nino directly over him here, and then uh, move pretty much anywhere, like, over in this general area on her player phase turn. Or, should I just go Nino here, and move 1-2 on your turn, bring Olivia behind you, and then you're going to come right here. Or you're going to run away. <laughs> it's so tough. It's so tough. And with the 31 speed, I'm going to outspeed you. I don't need that rally speed, but I need those buffs. I need those Nino buffs, man. So I really should have given her fortified defense instead of the stupid spur nonsense. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to try that. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. And I mean, I mean, if push comes to shove, we can use Olivia as a natural counter to Camilla anyway. But I just gotta watch out for her. So maybe I should do that. Yeah, maybe I should do that. Uh, I, I'm thinking I should really do that. I, I totally underestimate Olivia as an actual fighter when she's actually really good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I'm gonna do exactly this. All right, here we go. So strategy, last one. We gotta make it for all the marbles. We're gonna go right here. Right? No. No, never mind. here, we're gonna do this. Does that work if I throw her over there? Will I go into, yeah, yeah, here we go. So I'm gonna do this. We're gonna throw her over our shoulders. We're gonna go right into here and just bait out. Look at these boosts though. Look at these boosts. The only boost I really need is the defensive boost. But I'm on the right side of the weapons triangle. I've got Fury. I can take this hit. But we have to find out what Nino is going to do. Like, Nino has to go right up into there. Do my best. Alright. Come on, Olivia. Take her on. Five times two, wonderful. Twenty-six, plus the moonbow. This is going to sting. Oh, you just missed it. You just missed it. Okay. So, here's this. Uh, <laughs> run away! Run away, right, right, right? Okay, so... <clears throat> 
We got Robin Robinson coming. And if I do this attack, watch, if I do this attack, sure. Robin, you... Ephraim can do some work. I just need to get rid of Camilla. Or I can draw her over here and she's gonna come after me. And if she comes after me, that's fine. Or if I flip, there's so many things I could do right now. I can flip, uh, I can flip Nino over my shoulders, move up one attack, sing, move over one attack, but then I'm gonna be ripe for getting rocked by Sheeta, so that's not gonna work. I can do, oh my gosh, there's just so much I can do right now, watch. So get flipped over, use Ephraim's turn, move up, KO him, or KO her, use Olivia over here to sing for Nino. Nino running back down one square to get out of the way. I think that might work. I think that might work. Oh, wait, what? What? <laughs> That's so much strategy. I love this game. All right, here. So look, look, look. So I'm going to use Ephraim to launch Nino over him, and then Nino is going to KO you. And then we're going to sing with Olivia. Okay. We're going to sing with Olivia right here, so we're out of range. And then you... Oh, then we're going to be primed and ready to go. Oh, yeah, yeah, this could work. This could work. I think we're just... We're going too far away, though. You know, it's like we're going too far out there. Right. So let's just give it a shot. It's kind of my best bet right now. And plus, that way I can start working on some Moonbow. Alright, so this is good. Um... Wow. This is crazy. I can't even do anything to Sheeta. I can get this KO, but I can't survive Sheeta's attack. So, we're gonna go right here. Okay, let's see. I hope it's not an oversight on my part. Okay, so that's scary. This is scary. Now, what to do? Robin is a threat right now. We need to all get the heck out of here. <laughs> because look, if I go over here, KOU, that's fine. But then, if I sing, KOU, we're done. Robin is going to do a massive attack on any one of us if I stay in this one spot here. Yes. I can destroy Robin. Oh, hold on, hold on. No, then Sheeta's going to come over and outspeed and KO me. With the 48 speed. 48 speed. Dude, are you kidding me? Look. Alright. Think, Abdallah. Think. How can we get out of this one? How can we get out of this one? We can just all straight up leave. And if we all leave, all I just have to do is get out of this range here. And we can do that. Can we? No, we can't. We can't leave. Uh, I don't know. I think I got myself into uh, a little rut right here. Think, Abdallah. Anyone else? Let's see. Just move Olivia out of the way, kill Hinoka, and end your turn. You think so? I think that's a good idea. No, I can't. Well, look, he's only gonna hit me 17. Move Olivia out of the way, kill Hinoka. That's a great idea. I like that. That's from Michael. Thanks, Mike. I like that a lot. Also, you guys are saying kill Robin first and sing to kill Hinoka out of Keita's, uh, Shida's range. So kill Robin first. Saying, and are we out of Sheeta's range? Yeah, we could also do that. No, yeah, we can. Yes. I can get two birds with one. So we could do this, sing, and then Sheeta's gone. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. That's kind of what I was thinking, but I, I miscalculated that. So here, this is gonna be fine. All right, Robin's gone. 
Sheeta has a range of that. We're going to go over here, do a little bit of singing. And a little bit of this. And then we just need to work on uh, Sheeta. And we got this, because it's Sheeta. <laughs> okay, so that's kind of what I was thinking. Good job, guys. Good job. All you guys are great. Sergio recommended that. Kenji also recommended that. Thank you. And Michael, thanks for helping out. All right. So now, Sheeta's over here. We've got... Uh, da -da 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 -da. I think I'm going to get rocked. So, let's do this. I mean, I really don't need anything. I mean, I could do this. I'm gonna get doubled. But I do have quick repost on Ephraim, so I think we're fine. Alright, here we go. Okay, so that's what you're gonna do. Oh man, I'm stuck! Get stuck! Alright, here we go. Get stuck. No, I'm not stuck. I'm fine. Watch. We have Ephraim with the attack. We're gonna get doubled with the 41 attack and armor slayer. I think we're okay. 41. How much defense do you have? 34? And you have 33. Yeah, we're okay. We're okay. Let's do this. And then danger area right here. Oh, 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 here I can just do this. And we can attack her on offensive phase, right? Watch, right over here. Dance. 40 damage. KO, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. We've done it. Okay, so we've done all the challenges. Pretty fun. <laughs> uh, I, was, I thought I was in like a little bit of a hole there. And I was thinking, okay, I can easily get this one, and then I'll just sing and go get that one. There's a lot of strategy involved with this game. If you guys haven't downloaded this game, you need to do it. It's super fun. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, boom, right there. GG's, GG's. We had some fun times trying out the Armor Emblem team. They kind of carried us through a majority of these trials here. So I'm excited for it. I'm excited for it. And of course, you had the ability to get way more orbs. So we got two orbs there, two for each of the things. What do we get, 12 orbs? That's pretty cool, that's generous, right? Come on, Intelligent Systems, we want more orbs. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be it, it for the end of the stream. It's been fun. It's been fun hanging out with each and every one of you guys, so uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we've got even more, ooh man, here, you know, I haven't actually cut to this in a while, look. Let's cut to it. We're gonna go over to full screen in just one second. Uh, we are doing Fire Emblem Echoes. Uh, so I want you guys to go check that out. So if you guys are brand new to the YouTube channel, welcome to it. Thank you guys for subscribing. I'm sure the Abdallah bot was giving you guys shoutouts in the uh, in the chat. But of course, right over here, we are doing the full walkthrough of Fire Emblem Echoes. It's super fun. I've been enjoying it every single time, uh, every time we play it. I can't wait to go back to recording more episodes today. But yeah, we've got a bunch of uh, a bunch of episodes that I would love for you guys to go and support. Uh, the, the chapters are now named Acts, and there's many different parts within a chapter. It's, it's a little wonky compared to what we're used to with Awakening and Fates, uh, and pretty much every other game. Uh, so yeah, there's, there's a loads of, uh, I've got at least 18, 18 videos in the playlist right now, so go check it out. It, it's actually really fun. And we're going through, we're just having a good time with these awesome amiibo, so go check that out too. So, yeah, that's going to be it. Well, 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 we did a good job. Thank you. Thanks for coming. All right. So that's the end of the live stream. Thanks for coming out. If you guys enjoyed everything, definitely smash that like button. And of course, use this video as a guide so that you guys know exactly what the units are, how strong they are, and of course, so you guys can claim all those crystals that, of course, you're going to be using, right? Nah, we don't use crystals anymore. That was like, that was like pre-skill inheritance when experience was like, oh, dude, let's get to level 40 as fast as we can. But then it's like, oh, wait. We need all the SP, so maybe we shouldn't have done that. Maybe I shouldn't have spent the 10 orbs plus to get this really ornate uh, and like experience bonus multiplier in the game. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. So anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Continue watching the entire Fire Emblem Heroes playlist over here. Newest video on the channel there, and of course some recommendations. That way, make sure you guys are subscribed. And of course, we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.